Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I guess I'm going to be honest with y'all. Y'all should already know. If you follow me, then you should already know how I operate. When I am fasting, um, God just shows me so much. And um, I thank God for his glory. Come on, somebody. His praising him. But I'm so full, you know, especially on this full liquid fast. Praise God. Hallelujah. So God was telling me, say, tell them about their angels. I have to tell you something. Your angels have been watching you and been assigned to you since you were young. That's why a lot of things happened to you. A lot of people got molested. You know, a lot of people by family, friends, whatever the case may be. And I know you're thinking, well, why, why did that happen to me? That's because the enemy knows that you had a calling ever since you was a young kid. Point blank in the story. But you have to move past that. You have to move past it. So we have angels, like for my calling, apostolic. I have worn angels. Everybody have different types of angels. I have seen angels, and I'm not just saying that. No, no, I still see them. Whatever. I wouldn't even care if somebody believed me or not. But I'm going to try to... I have pictures up. I'm going to try... To let you see what I've seen, um, as far as these pictures, none of them are correct, to be honest with you. But I'm going to try to go as closely as I can. I would say that one right there. They really do have wings like that. They really do. It is a blue light you see sometimes. Um, excuse me. I can challenge you about this part. You want to see an angel. First of all, you have to ask God. You have to be in right standing because they can't come into an atmosphere that's unholy. Um, on the walls, they have our eyes. Start looking on the walls. They have our eyes, but they have glorious bodies. And this is the closest one because all these other ones, that's just, I don't know what they're talking about. And I never know the gender. So that's all I can tell you. And I've heard the voice of an angel one time. And it was like, wah, wah. You know, not no Charlie Brown one either. It was it was angelic. I, I can't even explain it. And maybe it's not supposed to be explained, right? But I want you to know you have angels. Use your angels. There are times when I, I have, like, I had a check missing one time. And it was, you know, it was pretty big. I said, look, angel, I need you to go and make sure I get that check. I know y'all think it's crazy, but... You have angels that have been assigned to you. As a matter of fact, let's be real. The spirit realm is more real than the natural. Your angel, this is the unseen war. You don't see how many times that your angel stopped that wreck. Come on, somebody. That your angel stopped that bullet. Come on, somebody. Or your angel stopped something, a demon for even messing with you. Y'all don't know, huh? That's why you got to stay prayed up because you don't understand what's going on with the unseen war. Praise God. Hallelujah. That stuff is real. So if you're just joining, the picture that you have, because I've let everyone know I have seen angels still see them. This is the closest one. The rest of them kind of like fabricated or something. Um, most of you have seen angels. They just move so fast. You have seen a blue light. And you're like, well, what's that? But here's the deal. The holier you get, I didn't say perfect, the closer you get to God, God reveals more and more and more about them. Point blank in the story. Now, you can't have one without the other. Most people say, well, I want to hear God's voice. I want to see this. If you ask God for your gift to open up, know this. You're going to see demons too. You, the spiritual room is the spiritual room. Most people just want to see angels. That's not how it works. So let's talk about the demonic room. All right. So I have seen these dark angels before too. As a matter of fact, my first one I ever saw was when I was 27. I would never forget that fool. And I've told this story a thousand times, and I'll tell it a thousand more because it's the truth. I was driving home, and the angel of the Lord told me, don't look at my passenger seat. And I said, what do you mean don't look at my passenger seat? And that thing looked at me. It looked like a girl girl, to be honest with you. And it said, as a matter of fact, let me let me Google that because it really did look like a girl girl. Hold on just one moment, y'all. I mean, I ain't even lying. It really did. Okay, so, and basically it told me, it said die, and it cursed me out. It said die, be die. It really did. And I would never forget that because I ran, 
I had people like I ran and hit myself for like a couple of days and I was in a Baptist church. They couldn't tell me nothing. Okay. This it right here, y'all. This is what this the one. That thing looked it worse than that what I saw. That's it. That's how the real demons look, y'all. And I'm not lying. I and like I say, y'all can always ask God. <laughs> go to God and ask God to show you if you're not scared. But this is how they look. They don't look like the movies be having them. They really look horrendous like that. And so they're always trying to get close to you. Um, sometimes they take on a possession of a body. And it's not funny. As a matter of fact, I keep telling y'all this. In Genesis, God says, let them have dominion over the earth. Y'all wonder why God allows things. Can I tell you something? It's all about us. Uh, that's why Adam and Eve. Let me tell y'all something. God can't go against his own word. And he said, let them have dominion. That's why God is always looking for true men and women in the earth. Who can I use to perform? Now, he can perform it, but it's through us. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Well, it's the same thing with the enemy. The enemy looks for people like the 13 families, the elite, the people that run the world. Yeah, I'm saying it like I'm saying it. And he uses them. Now y'all understand. And that's what's been going on. Between angels and demons. Come on, somebody. That's what the whole battle's been. So, I want you all to understand what's really going on here. Use your angels. Use your angels. Sometimes when I'm alone and I'm I'm in some situations and I don't I can't really talk to nobody. It might be three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. I'll see the angel floating around on the wall, and I, I'm telling y'all the truth. I just start talking to them. No, they haven't talked back to me. I'm not gonna lie, but I know they're listening. But I know I see them. And they let me see them. So, yes, I have asked. I say, one day maybe y'all could talk. I don't know if they've been forbidden to. I don't know how that goes, that part. But I do know that I see them. So, I just want you to know that use your angels more. Use your angels. Um, get closer to God so you can see your angels. Oh, yes, I I'm not playing. All the secrets that I know that God has shown me in my life, I'm going to start telling. Because I... It's not, it's not supposed to be just one of us anointed. God wants as many as you are willing to get closer to God, to get close to him, to see, to hear, to know. You know, too many of people have been trying to act like they're the only one. That is not how the heart of God. God will use whomever is ready. But you got to be ready now because like I said, the spiritual gift is this. Most of y'all just want to see the good. No, once that spiritual sight is open, you see the good and the bad. Hallelujah. So, and kids see them. Oh, thank you, Lord. Kids see them, y'all. Kids see the angels all the time, especially babies. That's why they be just a smiling. Also, animal sees them. When animal is scared, I'm running too. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you. Let me tell y'all something. What happened? My, uh, I was dog sitting for my baby, my daughter. And one night, he just was looking in that room. I started looking at the room. I said, Coco, what you see? And when Coco, I sure did. I said, well, I said, I'm getting up out of here. I said, something wrong. <laughs> I'm being honest. You know, I wasn't where I am today, but I sure did. I was like, oh, no, whatever he see, that's good enough for me. Because <laughs> I didn't see it at that time, just to be honest with you. So um, I pray that y'all understand. Okay, somebody said they look like shadows in human form laughing at me. You know what? That's true. They are shadows. They are in shadows sometimes. Those are the dark ones. I call them darkies. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to do a, a real Bible study for you guys on angel and demons. And it's going to blow your mind. It's really going to blow your mind. I'm serious. You know, um, they try to scare us. And, and I told y'all what they look like. You know, that thing looked like a girl girl. The thing that I saw that told me to die. <laughs> so, um... All right, you guys, I will be coming back up on here shortly because I want to talk about what we talked about in the class as far as witchcraft goes, because that's what they're using, too. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know. I know who it's for. It's for a lot of people, but you better decide which side you're on. You can't be you can't be on God's side playing and doing the work of the devil because God is going to spew you out. Praise God. All right, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Rule our soldiers, for that is who we are. God bless. Or you are. <laughs>